Thank you, Pastor Andrew. <sighs> yeah. Um, Buona Sifiwe. Buona Sifiwe. The first person, obviously, I wanted to, to give thanks to is Jesus, God, our Savior. You know, um, I sit here and um, I feel like I'm not alone, you know. Like, I feel like he's right here with me. And, uh, you know, I'm, I, was, I, was, I was telling my mom, like, it's so funny because it's like when he went to be with the Lord, it's like I wanted to know what love like that was for Jesus because he loved God so much. And I want to say this because I spent time with him in America for a whole year. Not one day, not one day did he ever complain. He said, Jay, always give thanks to Jesus and always give thanks to God. No matter what happens, always give it to God. So that's going to be my first thing. <sighs> Secondly, I want to say to Mom Teresia, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You have not just loved me and my family, but even me individually. You know, you call me your boyfriend. <laughs> and um, me individually, you've just loved me so much. And I cannot... I cannot say thank you enough. And my father is, is so honored to have a mother like you. <sighs> you know, the main person I was trying to even like figure out what to say was my mother. Mom, you are my superhero. You are my superwoman. You are everything God has asked you for. You know, I think about it this way, you know. Guys, I'm single, by the way, so you know, if, if, if there's a wife that's coming, you know, I think about it this way. Um, you know, God, God has really shown me an example of, of what a woman is. And like Vanessa said, there's not a day that we saw them fight. There's not a day that we saw them argue. They were just so in love. Not just with each other, but with God. And I'm so grateful that you're my mother. I'm so grateful that we have you. Because you are, you are the foundation of everything. He might have started everything, but you... You held everything together. And I want you to know that. And he knows that. And um, there's uh, something I'd like to say, you know, about my dad. <sighs> man, an old man. You know, last night I was thinking, I was like, what can I say about such a great man, you know, without, like, crying or breaking down? And the Holy Spirit just told me, just be yourself. Because that's exactly who my dad taught me to be. To be me. You know, a lot of people had questions when I got dreads, and I remember there was a time, there was a whole conspiracy about like how it was, and my dad stood there and he supported me and was like, Jay, I love them just as much as I love you, because he always picked me to be myself, and he never taught me to be anyone else. And a father like that is so amazing. Um, and you know, <sighs> dad, man. To, to my father, I'll keep my promise to you. He told me, Jay, I have a plan for you. As long as you can keep the plan, I'm good. <sighs> and um, I remember when I was, my, my dad was my best friend, so I remember when I was nine years old, and I, <laughs> and I started liking girls, right? I'm telling a funny story, so you guys laugh. And I started liking girls, <laughs> right? And um, I went to my father, and he was like, and I was like, Dad, so I have this girl, I really like her, and I don't know how she feels about it, and I'm just like, whatever. And he said, son, I'm here for you. And my mom was like, who is she? Who is that woman? And you know, like, my mom was always the, the protective one. So my father, from the, from day, the day one, he, he, really, he really showed me what a best friend is, what a father is, and he was such an amazing, amazing man. And I'm so grateful. You know, a lot of people question, because when you have a challenge, people are like, ah, uh, you know, maybe he's challenged in this area. But God has blessed me with such an amazing life, and I'm so grateful that I had a father like him. I could never ask for another father. I could never go another way. <sighs> and, um, yeah, so I'm really grateful for him. I'm grateful for everything. And I'm getting my third degree, my master's, for him. Everything is going to be just for him. The same plan he has is the same plan we'll complete. And uh, he left an amazing legacy. And there's no one else I'd rather be. 
honoring than my father. One more thing, Prophet Leslie, I want to tell you that when I was praising, God reminded me of the prophecy that you had. And he, and he um, said, I want, I, want, I want you to remind her that you weren't wrong. Everything you said about him being in the white suit, in all that, in the white and all that, I believe God was welcoming him too. And he's dancing with his, his favorite, favorite person. His favorite person, who he died for, who everything was about, God. And I know that now he's smiling, he's dancing, he's so happy, and he's so complete. And that is all I've ever wanted for him. So, 